J. Edgar Hoover had a hard on for fucking. He had this whole thing about the Black Messiah. We need yeah. to stop the Black Messiah. The Black Messiah. Yo, no, he thought it either could be Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. Oh shit. Or Fred Hampton or Huey P. Newton. Like these are all candidates. I know. I know. And they yeah, were all Huey, yeah. they were all killed. Yeah. I think I don't know if Fred Hampton was killed. I didn't. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, but I know who people knew was murdered. I know, we know fucking, and I think, I think the feds let, let that shit happen with, with, uh, with Malcolm X. You know what's crazy though is that they say that like, cause, cause they're in six years, yeah. the tapes, all the tapes that the fed, that the feds recorded of Martin Luther King will be released in the year 2027. You're 2027? We'll, we'll be able to hear all the tapes. I'll be 25. I'll be, I'll be old as fuck. But. We'll be able to hear all the tapes. So we'll be able to know mm, if, like, pretty, yo, pretty, cause like, yo pretty, that's the thing. Good. The, thing, the things that, all right, from the research, <laughs> the research and the, and also not as much research, just watching YouTube videos of niggas talking, <laughs> <laughs> that okay. fucking, when Jagger Hoover was tapping the phones of Martin Luther King and tapping the phones of Malcolm X, yeah. that Martin Luther King was, you know what I mean? He was running around fucking a lot of bitches. Like he White was women. They talked about white, white women. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, you know what I mean? Like that was his stilo. So it's like, which doesn't really make him that bad. It's like, everybody has a vice. Everybody has yeah, vices. Exactly. Like yeah, that's yeah. like, that's like Tiger Woods. Like when I watched the Tiger Woods documentary, it's like, of course he's going to be in the bitches. He doesn't do any drugs. He doesn't really drink, but he started drinking, but you know what I mean? He didn't really do anything. So it's like, of course his vice is going to be pussy. What other outlet do you have? If you don't have those other just, outlets, I drugs in the, the driver's fucking seat. Bill Burr what bit. other, <laughs> What other outlets do you have? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, fucking, fucking. Oh, all right. So Jager Hoover. So basically, they were saying that like the tapes from for for fucking the guy. This guy, he was saying that the tapes from Martin Luther King. We're not only gonna see that Martin Luther King was like hoeing around and like fucking bitches, but he was also like fucking with dudes and all this other crazy weird shit, which I don't not like because because all I can see, all I can see is like them co-opting that shit. And making like Martin Luther King isn't just for black people anymore, is he? It's like, oh no, <laughs> Martin Luther King is gay now. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Oh no, but it's just like, but supposedly Malcolm X was the only one who was like legit. Like he like everything he said he was, he was. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't he didn't stray from his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like B, he was that. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, he, had, he he was the most, he had to get smoked. I mean, my, Martin Luther King had to get smoked too, I think more for a psyop. I think that shit was more to just a shock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same thing with, with JFK. I feel like that shit had to happen because of what JFK was getting into, like who he was playing with. Like he made Secret some, societies. Secret society. Yo, he, yo, shit. he played, oh, yo, he playing with the wrong people. We're going so, to the moon <laughs> and dis, we're dismantling the... Operations of Yo, secret he, society. Yeah, supposedly, like, supposedly he fuck? wanted to like defund the CIA. He wanted to get rid of the CIA because, like, yo, basically, yeah, that's not a good move. It's, it's like, yo, it's, it's not like, a good fucking move. I'm man. sorry, it's but yo, real move. shit. This is real shit. It's not a good. Fu- fuck, I already know. Fuck the CIA. Move. They they have they have literally. But anyway, yeah. The whole point is this: you need your dirt boys, man. You need your dirty boys. You need your boys that's gonna do the dirty work. You need that. You have to have that, especially for America. The luxury that is America. This shit is a luxury, my nigga. Yeah. This country that we live in, the way we live compared to other places, it's a luxury, my nigga. And for us to have that, you know what I mean? Some, some, some drones and you know, some shit, you know what I mean? Or some pie, you know what I mean? Whatever. But it, yo, bro, I was watching this shit about um, Nixon too, where him and um, Henry Kissinger, they basically had the CIA go help the fucking. Um, the Africans, the fucking white people who were trying to take over South Africa, they had the CIA go help them to defeat the Africans, mm-hmm. like defeat the native people. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, and then the fucking, the, uh, the, 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 the mission was called Project uh, Tar Baby. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait! Look this way. I want to fact check this shit right now. Can you look up Operation Star Baby? What the fuck? Hold up. Let me Google this shit. Look, Google it, bro. It's real. Henry Kissinger, Richard Nixon, they fucking had the CIA go help. Damn, fucking blanking. Tar Baby option? No, Operation Tar Baby. Oh. Let me see. The option was the name given by United States Department, Richard Nixon's posse. Yeah, Tar Baby option. That's what it is. <laughs> Bro, this shit is crazy, my nigga. Come on, man. 
And you know what that shit was? Can I tell you what that shit was, Isaac? What? Can I tell you what it was? It was just so they could pass that shit around and go across people's desk and they could have a good laugh. Tar Baby was the name given to the United States Department and Richard Nixon's policy during the late 60s and 70s of the strengthening contacts with the white minority governments in Southern Africa. They were helping, they were helping white people to take over South Africa in, like, to, to basically help apartheid. Basically, Fortune, bro. Yeah, Fortune, and it's called yeah. Operation Tar Baby, bro. Operation Tar Baby. It's like, yo. The, it, illusion, that, it, the illusion, wait, the illusion was Uncle Roman's story with which Burr Fox tries to capture t- Br- Rabbit? Br'er yeah. Rabbit? Br'er Rabbit, yeah. Yo, they always do that. They allude to like fairy tales. Man, that's a whole another rabbit hole to go down. But basically the whole point is you have a thing beach. where you're where, where the whole point is the CIA to help white people take Africa away from Africans, yeah. right? And you call it Operation Tar, Tar Baby. Baby. Like you <laughs> use a use a racial slur against black people in a fucking official public document. document. You know what I mean? Like, yo, and that's just so it could go across somebody's desk and be like, Tar okay. Baby. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nixon's hilarious. Nixon's hilarious. <laughs> Kissinger. Fucking Kissinger. That's funny. Fucking Tar Babies. Yo, it's fucking crazy, bro. Like Uncle Remus. Remus. Uncle, Uncle Remus, Remus, yeah. Hey, yo, that's a whole nother rabbit hole, bro. But like, let's look at Uncle Remus. I'm kind of curious. About this. Yo, bro, I don't mind going. I don't mind going down this rabbit hole. The shit is just, yo, but it's fucked up. It's just like, yo, that's what I'm saying. When people, you'll be like, you don't hate Donald. It's like, yo, Donald Trump is nothing new, bro. It's there's exactly. nothing new under the sun. Bro. Exactly, this it's so a I, fucking cycle. The shit it will continue to go as long as it's. As long as it's not broke, they're not gonna fix it. The shit's gonna keep going, yo. That dude was a he was kind of a monkey wrench, I think, because he should have got two terms. You know what I'm Jesus saying? Christ. No, I'm serious though. Think about the last forty years of fucking politics. It's been Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican. Two terms, right? Mm, okay. That seems more like a selection and election to me, nigga. I'm just saying, bro. I don't nigga, man, fuck all that bullshit. But this is what I'm trying to say. He he's nothing new, bro. It's nothing new. Like this is, this is what I was saying, okay. Like, when everybody got upset, like, oh, he's splitting up and dividing America. I'm like, my nigga, no. He it's just, business. Oh, it's, exactly. I'm like, yo, he just pulled back the fucking curtain. He activated. Exactly. <laughs> like they said earlier in the shit we watched earlier. This this shit was literally fucking pancake mix. He they was the was, water. Yo. He was the water. That's all it was, bro. They was ready to go. They was raring to go. It's that's not what, nothing. Like, yo, this shit is nothing new. Nothing new under the sun, bro. Nothing new. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Now they just want to tell you to your face. You know what I mean? That's all. And, and I mean, I prefer that. I prefer to know. I respect it. I prefer to know. I, I respect the. I, I respect. I mean, yo, this is America, yo. Upfront. You can have your opinions. You feel like you want. You feel like you want about anybody. I don't believe in thought crime. Think whatever the fuck you want. That's true. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't impede upon somebody's fucking life or their livelihood or their, you know what I mean, or whatever. Fuck it, man. Think what you want. You know what I mean? You can have whoever in your house you want in your house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I mean. It's whatever. But that shit is just crazy to me, bro. <sighs> so, making it illegal to have a self thought, <laughs> but no, it's like yo. What I mean by thought crime is like you know, like don't get me wrong. People say dumb shit. Like the girl, the woman who got fired from the, you know, the, you know the chick from the Mandalorian, the big, fucking burly looking bitch. I haven't seen Mandalorian. All right, there's this big burly looking bitch who up there. She kind of dikey looking. This, uh, I think she's Spanish. I don't know, but she was up there, and basically she was like, "Oh, don't you think?" Basically, she was talking about what we were talking about earlier, how people like snitching on their parents with the riot shit, and yeah. she's saying how like they're trying to get you to tell on your neighbors, just like the Nazis. And it's like, yo, you didn't have to say Nazis. Why did you bring that up? What the fuck? Like, why did you go there? Like, you could have just said, "Unnecessary." You could have easily said, "Unnecessary roughness." You could <laughs> unnecessary roughness. Unnecessary Nazis. Exactly. You could have easily just been like, you could have easily just been like, "Yo, I don't, I don't think that kids should be should be snitching on their parents." Or should be tattling on the pen. I think it's a, a slippery slope or whatever. And she probably still would have got fired. You know what probably, I'm saying? Because like it, you're fucking with Disney. Like they on some like they on some whole another level of like fucking money and marketing. And they ain't playing with your fuck ass. You know what I'm saying? You say the wrong thing, they gonna fire the fuck out of you. You know what I'm saying? Unless you like really like plugged in like that. But that's what I'm saying. She was just a fucking minor character on a little show. It's like fuck you, bitch. Get out of here. But it's like fuck you, bitch. But it's yo. It's just it's just. But it is crazy that it's like. For her having a differing opinion, she, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's just like, it's a, is it a stupid thing to say? Of course it's stupid. Why bring up the not? Why say Nazis? Exactly. Yo, anybody, yo, Democrat, Republican, I don't give a fuck. Stop saying that shit. 
For real. Like, I was talking to an older person the other day, like, man, Trump, that motherfucker would have been like Hitler. No, he wouldn't have, bro. Can I tell you why? Hitler was way more accomplished. <laughs> he did a lot more. This nigga Trump ain't never done shit. Fucking Hitler was a war hero to his people. He fought in World War One. That's true. Right? He did. He did. Then they did the fucking beer hall push where they took over. They didn't fucking uh, raid the capital for one day. They Wherever they raided, they was there for like days on end holding that shit down. Then he went to jail and while he was locked up like he was Tupac, this nigga wrote his book. <laughs> oh my he wrote God. Mein Kampf. He wrote Mein Kampf while he was locked up, nigga. I know. I heard. I know. I learned Bruh, this shit history. This is legend shit. Like, like, nigga. This is. That's what I'm trying to say. How the fuck you compare him to him? You can't, nigga. There's, there's certain things that have to happen. Trump would never be like him. Listen, if they would have, yo, if they would have went down there when the riots happened, and Trump would have walked out in front of them with his big red tie, why they? Jesus Christ, nigga. I'd have been like, oh, y'all in trouble. This shit about to be real. You know what I'm saying? But no, he fucking ran in the house. He sent the goonie goons and he ran in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't respect that. Especially as, yo, me personally as a black man, I can't respect that. Martin Luther King hit the streets. Malcolm X hit the streets. All these niggas hit the streets. <laughs> this nigga Trump never hit the streets. Yeah. I don't see how these motherfuckers follow him. He never went. He was never in the military. He got kicked out of the military. He got, he got kicked out of the military school. Remember? Military school? Yeah. Yeah, but he also dodged the draft, which I don't blame him for. Who the fuck would want to go to fucking Vietnam? Like, get the fuck out yeah. of here. Like, I, whatever. I but at the true. same time, it's like, nigga, how do you respect this motherfucker? Like, how do you follow him? He's never been in a fist fight probably in his life. He's never done shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. Fucking, yo, do you know Fidel Castro could have played in the MLB? Really? Yes. This nigga was fucking, he was scouted by the fucking major leagues. I didn't you know see that. what I'm saying? <laughs> Legendary shit. It's like, damn, nigga, you find out something new about this nigga. Trump is like, oh, he spent money, fuck, foreign stars, fucking paid him. He got, I got a small loan from my dad. <laughs> $10 million. That's, 10 pretty, legendary. Million That's pretty legendary. That's pretty legendary. Imagine your dad handing you a fucking a million dollar check or some shit. That's ten. Pretty, he gave ten. him ten. Ten million dollars. Oh, dad, thanks, dad. Ten million dollars. Yeah, oh, okay. he rolled his eyes like, oh, thanks a lot. And he fucking... Thanks a lot, Dad. Thanks Dad. a lot, Papi. Yo, do you know this nigga? Like, and then he went to. I had to look up what school he went to. He went to um, fuck. It's like some prestigious business school. I forget what it's called, but it was some prestigious. It's like you know he was paying Asians to do his homework, my nigga. You know this nigga was not doing shit. Like, there's no. He was date raping girls and fucking paying Asians to do his homework. There's nothing else he was doing, bro. It's like, this is the guy you choose to follow? Exactly. He's just a grown-ass frat boy. It's like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. I don't know. Shit just don't make sense to me. Yo, I was watching this movie called um, Spy Masters on Amazon. Go watch that shit. It's basically about how they tried to tell Condoleezza. They tried to tell Bush that 9-11 was going to happen. And they're like, you guys totally overreacting. This shit's not going to happen. There's no way that, come on, a plane going through a building? What are you, what are you guys, high? You guys must be smoking the dope over there. Yeah. Smoking the funny cigarettes. Yo, then when the shit, yo, I remember I was in high school when the fucking towers, I was a freshman in high school. I remember my science teacher, he was a Marine too. He's a former Marine or whatever. He came and turned on the TV. And as soon as he turned on the TV, the second plane hit. And I'm like, what is this, a movie? He was like, no, this isn't a movie. This is happening right now. I was like, oh, shit, bro. It was wild. But it just so happens that when the planes hit the towers, where's George Bush? Reading books to children. And where at? In Florida. This nigga was on the toenail of the country. <laughs> the toenail of the country? <laughs> fucking New York is fucking getting blown up. And it just so happens you're at the furthest, other than Texas, you're at the furthest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The furthest you can get, my nigga, south. Close to the water and all that shit. Cuba. Close to the water, period. So you yeah. get the fuck out of Dodge. Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. It's like if your mother said, wash the dishes, and then as soon as you hear the door open, you start washing the dishes. Oh, I'm just reading books to kids. What's going on? <laughs> oh, fucking planes? Building? What? <laughs> oh, I never heard about that. Then, they, yo, then the CIA guys were like, we had a fucking meeting, and then this fucking guy goes, well, obviously we need to invade Iraq. And they're like, a what? what the fuck just happened to Weapons do? of mass destruction. Bro, this is CIA people saying, one, we told them they ignored us. Two, this nigga said, let's go into Iraq. Like, 
my nigga, this shit is crazy, bro. It's like, it's it's just like big game. This is a big game. And then, yo, that's what kills me when people like, like, um, right wing people be like, Obama created ISIS. No, nigga. George Bush created ISIS, my nigga. Because ISIS comes from fucking Iraq. And it comes from fucking those people who lost their lives and lost their livelihood and lost their normal way of living because you took fucking Saddam out of power. You know what I'm saying? These people need to realize that some of these people do not mind being ruled over. Some of these people do not mind 